<laughs> we saw two sharks. <laughs> Buenos dias from Tulum. Unfortunately, I wanted to go to um, Bacala next, but today I decided to go back to Playa del Carmen to visit Cozumel, the island in front of Playa del Carmen. And I'm sitting here waiting for my friend Esteban, which you know already or might know already from my previous video. And so the plan is that we stay at a friend's house of Esteban and then go for two dives on Sunday. His friend made us a really good price for these two dives and uh, a place to stay, so we will pay around $100 for um, two nights and two dives. From here we will walk to the bus station, get a Colectivo and then head to Playa del Carmen. Colectivos are actually way more cheaper than the official ADO buses here. So my friend told me that going to Playa del Carmen uh, will be 20 pesos, which is basically one dollar. Then we take the ferry to Cozumel and tomorrow we take a boat to a diving spot. I'm really excited. Um, I don't have my GoPro with me, so I'm not able to capture the underwater footage, but maybe um, his friend does. We made it back to Playa and now we take a walk to the ferry and get on it. Hola, una cámara coco? Coco, claro que sí. ¿Y el litro, chico? Ah, uh, poquito. Probably a coconut milk with ice. Looks really refreshing. Muchas gracias. Let's try it. Mm. It's really cold. Cold and refreshing. That's what I needed. Oh, I know these ones from Asia, Kabutan. My friend is getting some money real quick here at HSBC. They don't charge a lot compared to the other ATMs. Only like 30 pesos for one withdrawal. And the others charge about $5. So, <laughs> how much was it? It was more expensive, but it was, I think, four bucks. Four bucks? Okay. So, I figured, why not? I'll just get the cash now. Hmm. Last time I paid 30 pesos, so I don't know. See, I don't I think maybe just per, like, it just changes. Hmm. It's like the exchange rate. If I ever use, like, American dollars, then it, anywhere between 16 to 18, like, it's just, yeah. like depending on the person. Uh, you get the mango? Yes, sir. There's a ceremony going on. <laughs> there are like four Mexicans on a tower playing Cinco? Five? Cinco. One plays the flute and the other four will suspend. Like, we're literally. I'm getting goosebumps because this is how shit works here. It's just so <laughs> synchronistic. Like we could have waited for a long ass time, but like just getting off, stopping, doing all our little things. Hear the flute, and then it's fucking going down, and I'm so excited. I've seen it three times, four times, but it's like every time, it's like the first time.
That's a cool looking gate. Uh -huh. This gate looks you didn't come here? awesome, no. I can't believe you didn't come down here. Hola. Uh, for adults uh, to Kozume. Two ways, but not, uh, so I want to go back on Monday. Sorry? Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes. <laughs> the ticket price was uh, 580 pesos, which is an equivalent of 30 dollars, and it's leaving like uh, once per hour. There's a lot going on on the beach right now, as you can see, crazy amount of people, probably due to the Independence Day, which is today, there was a big fiesta last night, um, I missed it because I was really, really tired, but unfortunately there will be something going on tonight as well. The breeze up here feels so good. <laughs> Welcome to Cozumel. Uh, so we decided to stay at this restaurant quite fast before meeting his friend because it looks so good and they have a specialty which is called Quesabirias. What's the name? Quesabiria. Quesabiria. Yeah, really Hello. Uh, uh, super. That's a consomme. That's like the juice we talk about. Oh. So the dip the tortilla in this. Grill it with the cheese and the beef, but this was all like the stuff that the beef was cooked in. This is the beef, beef sauce. It's like the beef juice, yeah. Beef yeah. juice. <laughs> yeah. So these are the quesabirias. Wow, that looks amazing. Quesabirias. So you have the slow cooked meat inside uh, with cheese and the tacos are crunchy and you can dip it in the meat juice with the... You gotta switch it up, you know, you can eat the regular... <laughs> and add the onions and the lime. Looks so good. <laughs> Just put the onions inside, and now I have to wait a little bit because it's way too hot to eat. First bite, baby, let's go. Really good. Yeah. Like the texture of the meat is really soft, and the taco is crunchy. Mm. 
call lemonades. Ah, so good. So after this lovely dinner, we are now at Buenos Aires. We are now finally go to the <coughs> flat of our friend to get some rest. It's gonna be a 20 minute walk through the night. That's kind of annoying. I'm really, really tired. And having all my stuff on me doesn't make it easier. But yeah, anyway. We will hurry and then get some rest before going on a dive tomorrow. I'm really excited. Don't know yet um, at which diving spot we are actually going to dive. Um, but yeah, I will find it out soon. Can't wait to fall asleep. We made it to the sleeping place. <clears throat> Finally. We're here, baby. <laughs> Finally, there is a lot of water, huh? Yeah. We call this uh, rancheros, sí. and this is with herbs and all in some cases. It is delicious. Yeah, yeah. Got some fruits for the dive tour. Now we are on the way to the harbor to catch our boat. So we arrived at the harbor here. This is our boat. And we will wait for one more guy to start off. Here are already some blue fishes. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Although the water is not, not the cleanest <coughs> here at the harbor. <laughs> okay, I got it wrong. This is actually not our boat. Our boat is down this road here. We have three problems with scuba diving, so you know. One is called decompression sickness. What is that? When you stay moody, too long, super saturated with too much nitrogen, you come too fast, bubbles up, when you move fast, you fall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come back. You're stupid again. You're in trouble one more time. <laughs> you don't control. You don't control me. You high. Okay. That's it. The other problem is you hold your breath. Even in 50 feet of water, 50 feet of water, you can your breath, you can bust your lungs. Pressurize air into your brain. Air embolism, your brain embolism. So, hold your breath, fucks you up. Stay in too long to leave, fucks you up. And get into the air, makes you good time. That's what you need to keep in mind if you want to be a certified life. You know. Alrighty? Yeah. Before we go down, we had to set up all the equipment in check. Begin with review and frame. Begin was begin. BCD. Deflate. Deflate. With weight belt. Right hand release. Corporate secure. I'm going to lose my belt because I go to the surface. Right. Begin with, with weight belt. Reviews for releases. All the attachments. All the straps attached. You do this with your body always. Begin with review. And this A. A supply. 3000 PSI. This frame is final. Okay. You make it through the water. You want to enter the water fully at wind, mask on your face, like in your mouth, air with the PCD, giant side entry, when you're on the surface of the water. The water is so crystal clear here. Yeah? Yeah. You can see the ground from the boat. That's incredible. You are the people joined in our trip. Can you see the ground? It's incredible. Okay, we're getting ready here on the boat now. I'm not sure if anyone took a GoPro with him. Let's see. Um, anyways, see you after the dive. So I, I'm already wearing my weight belt. And I'm gonna drink a lot of water now before going in. Mm. So we're gonna stop here and here are all already other boats. This is gonna be the place where we're gonna stop. The 
boat and get into the water. What, what are your last words before we go down there? The last words? All we need is love. <laughs> <laughs> no. I like to be under the sea <laughs> and an octopus is garden in the shade. <laughs> we swing about what is out. Perfect. All the creatures beneath the waves. We saw two sharks. Uh, one was really, really big. It was like only half a meter underneath me, and um, I was kind of scared because it's the first time that I saw a shark. It, they were like these um, quite big reef sharks. I think they're not too dangerous, but uh, anyway, <laughs> it was kind of scary. And then um, I also saw this um, sand ray. Quite small though, but it's the first ray that I ever saw. Mm, like wild ray, not in a aquarium. <laughs> and there was also this moray eel, green one, a really big green one, coming very close to me. Like he was following me, and I, <laughs> I, ha I had to um, hide from it, swim away, because uh, it came closer and closer. I feel a little bit cold now because um, after spending so much time underwater I'm uh, freezing a bit. Hopefully the sun comes out again so that I can warm up. But yeah, that was a really nice experience down there. Um, the corals were amazing. I saw um, massive coral structures in all different kind of colors. So fascinating how bright these colors are and also you have some soft corals that are black with yellow dots on it and it's just crazy what kind of structures the nature forms down there and yeah now we are heading back to the harbor it was an amazing day here on Cozumel it is definitely worth it to go diving here there's one last diver we will catch him up and then head back to the harbor. We are finally back at the harbor.